Well, friends, welcome back once again to JJ's PC Builds. You know who this is, JJ with you once again. And if this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Don't forget about the notification bell so you know when I post the next video. Today, we're going to have a little talk about the new NVIDIA drivers that just came out, 581.42. So let's go have a little bit of look on video cards, which was brought up to me by one of my subscribers, like usual, or very loyal, Mr. Cyborg, and he brought that up to me on Discord. So I was looking at it earlier this morning, but I didn't have too much of a gander on it. So let's go ahead and go on a journey together and see what's cooking. All right, since we're on a journey to see what's cooking, we got the big cursor already in stock. Download for NVIDIA GeForce Game Ready 581.42 driver from videocards.com. Make sure you all go check them out. For this article, I left a link in the description down below. So now we're going to take a look over here. Looks like they got on there. They got the downloads for the drivers as it is. One's for mobile, one's for desktop. Guys, if you're going to download something, I'm not saying that, you know, it's good to download from websites and everything else, but go to NVIDIA drivers, downloads, and type it into your Google search and go, go, go the classic route and get it. If you can't get it from the NVIDIA app, then try to get it from NVIDIA themselves. Not saying this is a good or bad or ugly kind of thing. I just... Third-party sites I don't really go to when it comes to downloading stuff. I like to keep my computer 100% fresh. So, this new Game Ready driver provides the best gaming experience for the latest new games supporting DLSS 4 technology, including Battlefield 6, and the latest update for FPC, not P, FBC Firebreak. The fixed issues, the fixed gaming bugs issues, was Battlefield 2042 increased GPU crashing when calling CDX GDIS WAP chain present, and they got a code that's 5446395. And the next one is Forenza, Forenza Horizon 4. I know I can't, I can't get my tongue to go that way, so you guys are gonna have to bear with it. Light flickering on RTX 50 series, which is 5404555. Planet Coaster 2 crashes after driver update 5447412. FPS significantly drop when using smooth motion with Riva Tuner FPS cap 5476266. And the R580 drivers. Causing stuttering in games using Godot Engine 546-6820. Fixed general bugs. That was gaming bugs. This is general bugs. Adobe After Effects. Premiere Pro. Crash on launch when smooth motion is enabled globally. 5515256. Adobe Premiere Pro. Some configurations can freeze during export using hardware encoding, 5431822. When using noise, video noise reduction is enabled in Chroma is grayscale, 5401959. Known issues, Counter-Strike 2, text may slightly distort, be, be distorted when in-game resolution is lower than the native resolution of the display sounds like dynamic screen resolution five two seven eight nine one three like a dragon infinite wealth light flickering after driver update on some system configurations five four three two three five six the package contents you guys should know all this route so we don't have to go through the compatibility and everything else they give you a long list of compatibility, so. And that, right there, my friends, is the spoke of it. Now, conclusions. The conclusions are this. 
are these patch updates well it's not a patch update it's a full release but is it good bad or ugly there now i got that out of my face with the drivers well i've had the drivers in for approximately seven or eight hours i've tested a stability test i had no problem with stability test i even ran a few programs on steam didn't have any problems um I test heaven, heaven Benchmark, didn't have any problems. I, te I tested Heaven Superposition, didn't have any problems. Um, have I had any problems with the drivers? No. Have I tested on Battlefield 6? Sorry guys, I don't have Battlefield 6. Maybe someday I will, but right now I don't have it. But I played it on uh, Cyberpunk, didn't have a problem. Everything rolled very smooth and nice and sweet. Now, with smooth motion, I turned that on, didn't have a problem. I turned it on, played it on, have, uh, played it on different variety of uh, benchmarks and games. And you're wondering, the one game I always play is Cyberpunk. That's the most game that'll load it down, I think, with the RT cores and everything else. So I haven't seen any lick of problems whatsoever. So is it good? Is it a good update? Well, for me, yes. Because I got two computers. Well, actually, I got one now that has NVIDIA and one that has AMD. I can tell you there's no problem with the NVIDIA one. It's running nice and sweet. You know, new motherboard, new processor, new RAM. But I'm using same SSD, you know, same hard drive. <coughs> Excuse me. Did not have any problem. But the one problem I do have is you guys forgot your drinking snacks. I got mine. So, is it worth the investment? Well, you don't invest anything, it's free. So, truthfully, yeah, it's fine. Some Now, I'm gonna put a little disclaimer in here at the end because this is getting close to the end. And the disclaimer is this. Not all PCs are going to operate the same. They're all going to have their caveats. They're all going to have their problems because the, the combination of hardware that's put together. Okay, it's not guaranteed that the driver is going to work with all PCs. And I'm not guaranteeing that neither. I'm running the MSI B850-P Pro Wi-Fi motherboard with the 9700X. And I'm running the Clev um 6000 megahertz cl28 ram 32 gigs with the rtx 4090 and my operating system drive is the crucial p2 nvme ssd one terabyte yes i use that for my operating system and i use a samsung drive the 980 pro i use that for my swap drive and i use um seagate hard drive it's a big hard drive that stores all my files you know all my videos and stuff so they're not left on my swap drive so that keeps that nice and clean but all in all I mean I got a lot of hard drive space so I'm really good with that have I had any problems since day one of rebuilding my PC I've had a couple I've had a couple problems but I've worked it out and I worked it out because I went and put in the operating system, put in all my updates and everything else, then went into the BIOS and started re-transforming the BIOS so that way it runs nice and smooth to when I get up to Windows and then re-transform Windows a little bit to make it run the way I want it to run. And Windows did another update. Let me get into that really quick and give that to you at the end. And yes, I did put in the update. Yes, I did put in the update. And let's see. We're finding you the update number, so that way you guys will know the update. So the update that I put in was KB5065789. It went in. Bolt, uh, the build rate, the build, was 26100.6725. Went in nice and smooth. Didn't have a problem. So... 
that was just recently distributed so just letting you guys know that but I did find out the conclusion to why my other PC had the problem is because when I went from Windows 10 to a Windows 11 well a forced update from Microsoft and I'm still gonna bring that up because that was crap of them updating me from Windows 10 to Windows 11 without my permission but I'm gonna let that slide oh yeah I'm gonna let that slide because actually truthfully they did me a favor some people say Windows 11 is really bad really bad well it's really bad when you don't have it set up correctly I'm realizing this now but that update really hurt the factor of all the new new uh, stuff they're pushing in for 25h2 and it caused a bad problem with the PC so I have to format this drive and I have to start it over on a new Windows 11 update to move it forward to 25h2 and that's the only way it's going to correct the problem so it kind of stinks but I'm putting all my stuff on that PC to this PC and when I get done I'm going to take care of this one and I'm going to reformat it and I'm going to put Windows 11 in it and I'm just going to rock it out so that way it doesn't have any more problems so in the future when I'm testing I know it's nice and clean I know I've done a bunch of Nvidia driver updates on this one here but that comes to my new PC. Now I gotta. Now all my updates are really caught up, because I had to put in all the updates from the day that I got this graphics card. So I can tell you guys that I went update to update to update. That was a lot of updates. It took me half a day just to get in all the updates. And you're saying, Jay, you should have just went clean. No, Jay don't. Jay don't do that. When it comes to this PC, I want to make sure I have every bit that I don't miss of information. But it's done. The graphics card side is done of it. The BIOS right now is done, caught up to date. I put in all the updates one by one from motherboard day one. So, I'm happy with it. I mean... It's at 4849C right now on the CPU. And GPU is only at 35C. So yeah. I can say I'm for now I'm pretty much done. I'll rock along with it for my content creating. And I'm gonna probably use this one for a little bit of gaming. You know what I'm saying? So this does have the 7600 the RX 7600 but it's still a little bit of, of a nail rocker I could use my you know content creating PC for gaming I could use it for business too like I said there's three buckets I always go by business content creating and gaming this PC does it all this PC does it all they both do it all except for I need to put in a secondary uh, SSD in this and a hard drive to match up with what I got here on my main PC now. You know, but in time, we'll get there. But anyway, guys, I've done bored you enough. If you made it to this ending of this video, hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button. Don't forget about the notification bell so you know when I post the next video. Until the next time. Until the next time. And the next video. You know who it is, and we'll see you on the next one.